Hey everybody and welcome back to my channel. I'm James, an everyday cook, and today we are doing a recipe rescue, which my friend had trouble with a recipe and I'm going to try and help out. And today that recipe is biscuits and not only biscuits, jalapeno cheddar biscuits. Come cook with me. All right, so before we start cooking slash baking, because that's what we'll be doing today, make sure you like this video. Share it with all your friends and family. Of course, subscribe and hit the notification bell so you can get notified to come cook with me again. Let's make some biscuits. Okay, so one of my good friends, Jerrica, called me and was trying to make biscuits over the weekend. And she said, James, I don't know what I did wrong. Can you help me? Of course, I'm here to help because wherever they cooks, we can problem solve together, which I like. So this is kind of one of the things that I kind of want your feedback on. If there's any recipes you've tried and you've had issues with, I would love to try and help. Maybe it's something I haven't even done before and we can figure out together, but isn't cooking an adventure and I want to be on it with you. Everyday cooks, right? Okay. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to give credit where credit is due. This is not an original recipe that I came up with. I actually learned it from the wonderful Martha Stewart. Not only the recipe, which I've tweaked depending on if I want sweet biscuits or savory biscuits, but also her method with using a food processor. So some of my friends have come to me already um, for future videos um, saying that I don't have a food processor. So I'll show you something you can use as a swap as far as equipment, and that way you can still get the same fantastic result for these biscuits. So the first thing I'm going to do is I have a cup and a splash of milk. And with these biscuits, I always like to use buttermilk. But buttermilk sometimes you can't get or you buy a whole carton and you don't know what to do with. So we're going to kind of make our own version that works just the same as using buttermilk from the store. So I have a cup-ish of milk because we're going to use some for brushing the top of the biscuits. And then I am doing a tablespoon of vinegar. And by the time we put together these biscuits, actually I'm going to do a tablespoon and a third, which is a tablespoon and a teaspoon. I have a funny story about vinegar, but we will not share that yet. If you're still getting to know me, that's later down the road. Um, but I kind of move this around, and that vinegar is basically going to turn this milk with the milk solids. I don't know the chemistry behind it, I just know vinegar does something to the milk, and it um, simulates buttermilk. So that's what we're doing. So we have that. We're going to need this tablespoon, so I'll wipe it off. All right. So then into our food processor, I have a cup of flour. And then into our regular mixing bowl, I have another cup of flour. And this makes about eight biscuits. The reason I know this, I've made this so many times. And I use an ice cream scoop, which you've seen me use on a couple of previous videos. This is one of your best friends with um, getting even biscuits or even measurements with items. So it makes about eight biscuits. So we'll put the flour to the side. And then I know we always like to mise en place, but my butter is in the fridge. I want to keep it cold, cold butter. That really is the secret to this biscuit recipe. So with this butter, like I said, we're going to use it in the food processor, but if you did not have a food processor to kind of make the butter, typically on cooking shows or with recipes, you say see like pea-sized pieces of butter, you just want them finely ground. So you can use a box grater where you can like grade this in. It's perfectly fine. I'm just going to use the mixer. Sides, we don't need it. And then I will cut this butter up into cubes. The great thing about the food processor, it really does the work for you. So, put that right in. And with this too, since we're making jalapeno cheddar biscuits, I'm going to use the work of the food processor as well to chop up the jalapenos, so then I don't accidentally rub my eye again with jalapenos. Another story. Um, with these, I normally make them too spicy, so I'm actually going to do, mix eight biscuits. So I'm going to do eight slices because I like to put it on top. One, two, three, four, five, something like that. And then half a jalapeno. I'm making another recipe today, so I'll use this jalapeno for later. And then I just put this in the food processor. One, two, three, four. All right. So with this, you're just going to pulse this one cup of flour with the one stick of butter and the quarter of a jalapeno. And basically... So 
basically you want like a crumbly meal. It's okay, honestly, if there's a couple bigger pieces of butter. And the reason why is, and I will try and explain this because we need some facts here, right? So when you're building <clears throat> like pie crust or puff pastry or croissants or biscuits, really what you want to do and the reason why you want the butter a certain kind of way is you have layers of flour and then you have layers of butter and then you have layers of flour and you have layers of butter and you have layers of flour depending on what you're doing. So when the heat hits that butter, the moisture in the butter steams and that's what pushes that second layer or layers of flour to butter up and that's what makes something flaky, buttery, crispy. So that's kind of what we're trying to do and trying to achieve and that's the the why behind the how with the biscuits. So we have our um, butter, flour, and jalapeno mixture here. Put that to the side. We still need a couple ingredients with our other cup of flour. So we need a teaspoon of sugar. I need two teaspoons of baking powder and a teaspoon of baking soda. And another great thing about making these biscuits is, do you remember those science projects where you would put the baking soda in the volcano and then you add vinegar and it all explodes? Well, putting baking soda with the buttermilk, since we did add vinegar or has an acidic level to it, will help leaven these biscuits as well, which make them a little bit flakier, chewy, great. And then there's salt. I like these are savory biscuits. So I'm going to do a teaspoon of salt. And I learned this last time. Again, I'm trying to save a recipe, but also I'm learning for myself because where everybody cooks, half a teaspoon of pepper because we do have jalapenos. And the last time I did make these a little bit peppery. So, oh well, live and you learn. And then another thing that I learned, which is crucial to this, is you think more cheese is more cheese is more cheese and it's even better? No, because the cheese kind of weighs it down, makes it greasy. So that's why it's nice to like recipe test. Um, one of my favorites is doing Parmesan cheese with more black pepper, just for those kind of biscuits, but we're doing cheddar jalapeno. So a cup of cheddar. And I do like these new bowls I just got. They were on sale and I figured I'd use them. So side story, no, I'm not losing focus, as the editor would say. So before we add the two together, I like to mix these up. You kind of want to mix your ingredients. You can sift them if you want, but for these biscuits, we are good to go. One thing I did forget to do is preheat the oven at 450. So we'll do that. Make sure nothing is in the oven because I've forgotten that too, where <laughs> something hot was in there. So we will go ahead and preheat the oven. Put that to the side, put that to the side. And then you also want a sheet pan. Now you can line this with um, aluminum foil. You can do parchment paper. I just spray it with Pam or cooking spray. I don't know if you're allowed to say Pam on this channel, but whatever. Um, Cause it gets the nice crispy bits at the bottom and nicely golden brown. So I'll have that ready to go. Spray with a little bit lightly. Cause these have a high fat content. All right, so then See how pretty that is? Like it's just, you see those little chunks of butter and the jalapeno. Nice and pretty. Again, you can use <coughs> those jalapenos are strong today. I'm <coughs> glad I only use a quarter. Okay. So mix it all around. Yum. These are delicious. All right, so we have our jalapenos over here for the top because that's what Jerrica did. And that's why I want to try to help her out with, make it look the same like she did, but just help her out with the recipe. And then we have this buttermilk, buttermilk. So it does look like it's set up quite a bit. And again, we're not pouring the whole thing in here. Remember, we want to brush the tops with it, the biscuits with it. So pour that in there. And you don't want to overwork these. We don't actually have, even have to roll them out, which is nice. She's not like, Dirtying up your cook space. We are just one bowl plan. Oops. Oops. Some spilt. We just put that right back in. Okay. And it might look a little wet at first, but that flour is going to really soak up 
all the stuff we got in there. These are so good. These are good for making sandwiches, breakfast sandwiches. Some sausage gravy. I made that the other day with these biscuits. They're really good. But this is one of the recipes where I really find, like, if you need a recipe, this is your biscuit recipe for sure. Thanks, Martha. We'll give her some credit. But I judge it up. I do sweet, like I was going to do cranberry this morning with some walnuts. You can do any kind of cheese. Just be careful what you're putting in your biscuits because you just don't want to weigh them down. And you also don't want to mix them too, too much because then they're going to get like that. I'm not sure if that's a chefy term, but they go like that. Okay, so I have eight little biscuits there. And I don't even worry about like the little, I don't know if it's called like a little lip over here. I just let them be the little biscuits they want to be. Scoop those. The ice cream scoop is really great because it just makes you have uniform items. They bake at the same time. They all have uniform size. A really good biscuit. Once I have a little bit extra because I started being skimpy with one of the scoops. But it's fine. You can just add two. And you're really not dirtying up a lot of dishes. Like I said, if you don't have a food processor, you can just grate the butter yourself. Again, I don't like to waste a lot, so I will put all this over here. Awesome. Yum. They smell so good. I want a biscuit. And so with the last bit of buttermilk, hashtag but or parentheses buttermilk, I just put a little bit on top. And then I like to flatten them out a little bit with the, you can use a brush, you can use a finger. I've used my fingers most of the time. I just found this little silicone brush. So I kind of flatten them out just a tad. So I'm so bulbous, like Bulbasaur. That's Pokemon. Is it Pokemon? Pokemon, I don't know. All right, do that, and then put a little jalapeno on top. Yum. Yummy, yummy, yummy. Awesome. And then since we're touching jalapenos, make sure you wash your hands. Don't touch your eyeballs. Don't touch any part of your face. So once the oven preheats, we'll get these in a 450 degree oven, 15 to 18 minutes, but sometimes when I do this, it takes like 23. So we'll be back as soon as they're baked. Uh, welcome back. So our biscuits have been in the oven for about 18-ish minutes. We're about to take them out. I'm about to check on them really quick to see if they're done because baking is a science, but sometimes it's not depending on your oven, if it's calibrated cor correctly. So you know, kind of a fun little game to figure out if it's done. These actually look so good. They smell delicious. Biscuits. Oh, yeah, those are good. Look how good those look. Biscuits, biscuits. And they're jalapeno cheddar, which is my favorite. Okay, so they are very hot. So, but you hear that? So good. I think Jerrica's gonna love these biscuits. And again, you can modify this recipe to use different cheeses, different ingredients. Just be mindful of what you put in the biscuits. They can actually rise up. Oh, these are so good. They're so hot and delicious. Maggie cannot be the taste tester of these because it has jalapeno in some pepper in it. So she will not like that, but I'm gonna cut into one of these. Yeah, it's gonna be good. Again, you can do butter. Oh, that crisp, oof. So light and fluffy, she's actually coming here right now to see if she can get a biscuit. Come here, Megs. Can't get any, but look, we're filming. Oh, she's even sitting pretty right there. You can't have any, sis, but I love you. But these biscuits are definitely the one thing you need in your life. It's a fundamental recipe. Again, we learned it from our great mother, Martha. But I've used this recipe 
almost every week, whether it makes savory biscuits, sweet biscuits, it's one of the best. So, let's make jalapeno cheddar biscuits. Recipe Rescue. Jerick is going to love these. I know I'm going to love them because I'm going to make breakfast in the morning. But, crispy, fluffy biscuits. The best ones you'll ever have. Come cook with me next time. These are so good, man. And you can't have any, I promise. You can't have any, but these look good. Mmm.